Are home prices continue to go up here in Spokane? Or is the bubble about to burst? Hey everyone, I'm Alejandro with Alejandro Ventura Real Estate at Keller Williams. And to help answer these questions in an informed manner, we have to look at the data. So here is where the market stands here in Spokane as of the end of May 2021. Number one is that the average sales price was $407,000, which is up 32% year over year. Number two is that the number of units sold was 686, which represents a 37% jump from May last year. Number three, new listings to enter the market in May were 829, which is a drop of 5.6% from last year. And number four is that the inventory of homes available as of the end of May was 224 units, which represent a 10-day supply. And to put this number in perspective, in a balanced market, we should have at least three months supply. So it's easy to see from this data that the main factor driving the ever increasing home prices here in town is the extremely low inventory. So the question then is, what is causing this low inventory problem? And the answer is twofold. Number one is that potential home sellers are hesitant to list their properties for sale out of concern of not being able to find the next home to purchase, which might leave them homeless. So they're holding on to their current homes until the market offers them more buying options. And number two is that Spokane continues to be underbuilt in terms of new construction. Did you know that between 2010 and 2019, the Spokane market was underbuilt by about 32,000 units? And now this problem has only worsened since in 2021, home builders have to deal with rising costs in building materials, especially lumber, which by itself has added $36,000 to the cost of building an average single family home. Now, low inventory levels is the obvious reason as to why Spokane prices are rising so rapidly. But is it the only reason? Stay tuned for the second part of this video series to learn more about other factors influencing home prices here in Spokane and whether or not we are in the midst of a housing bubble. I'll see you there.